Hello and welcome to the studio of Dendriad Art. Today I thought I would just show you a few of the details behind my 2016 calendar. It's going to be an illustrated calendar based on symbols of peace, love, hope and protection. And I'm making a start on the illustrations now. As you can see at the moment I'm just leaving everything in black and white because my aim behind the calendar is not only to produce a full colour really bright calendar but also for those people who pre-order the calendar I'm also going to put together a adult colouring booklet and so what I want to do is to do everything in black and white first, scan it in ready for the booklet and then I'll do the colouring afterwards. Now each month is going to feature a full A4 sized illustration and then underneath that so it's going to be a double A4 length if you can imagine that and then underneath that is going to be the calendar itself and some quotes and some other little bits and pieces that I haven't decided on yet so I'm hoping it's going to be a really good and unusual calendar. So here's the Hamza illustration that I've started off with now this is pretty much finished I don't think I need to do any more on this illustration this one's going to be digitally coloured so I can get it really nice and bright. The next one I've got ready is the ank illustration. Now I'm actually finished with the illustration for this but when I come to colour it I'm actually going to put a lot more detail in the backgrounds when I come to colour it. So there's going to be a lot of detail in the sky here and in the sun and also within the ank itself. The next one I have is the OM symbol. Um, not sure if I've quite finished on here. I know that when I col come to colour it, there's going to be some other detail in this circle here, but um, I might do a little bit more pen work on the OM symbol yet. I haven't quite decided. And then last night I just made a quick start on the peace symbol. So after this, eight more symbols to go. I'll keep you updated on the progress. And really, all I'm using is a HB pencil. And when once I've coloured, once I've actually drawn everything out in the HB pencil, then I come to use my black markers to mark everything out. My favourite marker is Faber Castell, which I've got in all kinds of different sizes. I do have Copic markers as well, but sometimes I find that the tips break on the Copic markers, so um, I try not to use those too often. And this week I was out and about and found some uni pen markers that say that they're uh, water and fade proof. Uh, so I'm going to give those a try as well. So I shall keep you updated with progress. And if you want to find out when the pre-order is going to be ready, come along to my website, which is www.dendriad.co.uk. Sign up to the mailing list. I don't bombard you with anything. And um, I'll let you know when the pre-order is ready. See you soon.